Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. Always happy to have you. If you are new, I'm a first year seventh grade teacher. I must like to make a lot of book beauty lifestyle content here on this channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. While I'm a first year teacher, it's not technically like I'm starting out teaching because I did teach from December to June this past year in 2021. Um, so now I'm doing my first full year teaching. But today I am super excited. I have a back to school classroom library book haul and this is a huge, huge book haul. And I'm gonna show you the bags of books that I have to talk about. But first I want to talk about how I got all of these books. Um, I did not purchase all of these. They were given to me by the bookstore where I work part time in the summers. Um, they donated a bunch of damaged books to me. So I am super grateful to an unlikely story in Plainville. If you're ever in the area, go check them out. It is the bookstore owned by Jeff Kinney, who wrote Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So if you're ever in the area, check them out. Huge thank you to them for giving me advanced reader copies, for giving me damaged books, all of that good stuff. Um, <coughs> again, before we dive into the book haul, I do want to say if you're a teacher, particularly for ELA, um, I highly recommend working at a bookstore. A local bookstore, whether it's a Barnes & Noble, whether it's an indie bookstore, do it. <laughs> First of all, you get 30%, well, at least at my bookstore, we get 30% off as the staff discount off of anything in the store. Um, so I can get a lot of paperback middle grade books for my kiddos at a discounted price. Then bookstores typically have a teacher discount that you can transfer to after. Um, also, you'll learn a lot about books, you'll learn about good books. A huge focus in the indie book industry right now is diverse books and own voices books. So you'll be sure to get all of the knowledge on quality diverse books for your kids to read while working with great people, getting a discount on books, getting some free books. It is so beneficial and it's just good practice in identifying where kids skill sets are and recommending reads for them, which is super important for the classroom. Let me show you what we are going through today. Some of these I'll go through pretty quickly, but if there's any like side notes that I want to give for a particular title, I will do that. I apologize in advance if this book is pretty long, but we have some great books to talk about here. So this is the logo for an unlikely story in Plainville. Super cute, our little elephant friend. Um, but these bags are literally full of books to talk about in all sorts of shapes. They're hardcover, they're new, they're old, they're paperback, they're whatever. And because there are so many, I'm not going in a particular order. I am just going to literally pull books, show the title, and if there's anything I gotta say. Um, Leilani of the Distant Sea by Erin and Trata Kelly. This is a like kind of Filipino folk folklore kind of legend brought to life. We have the Mysterious Benedict Sa Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. This is the first one, and then I also got the second one, which will be in there somewhere. Um, this I'm actually reading right now. This is a YA, but I think it is fairly middle school friendly so far for my reading. Um, this is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is another series, so you can get them for different fairy tales. You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. Super pretty. There we go. This is a classic and a staple, honestly, I think. This is The Kane Chronicles Book 1 by Rick Riordan. I am a huge Rick Riordan nerd. I met him. That was actually how I got my job at the bookstore. But my copy of The Kane Chronicles and most of my Rick Riordan copies are personalized to me. And I do not trust my children with books so good. So I got this new copy for free. We have Dear Justice by Nick Stone. We actually have class copies of Dear Martin, the first book, and this is like the sequel or follow-up novel to Dear Martin. Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate. And I'm getting a really varied array of levels because I have some kids that are way above, I have some kids that are way below grade level, so just getting all sorts of interests, all sorts of reading levels. We have King Arthur, The Legend of King Arthur. I've been wanting this for years, so this might also be mine. Chains by Lori Hulse Anderson. 
Sleeping Freshman Never Lie by David Lubar. Two of these, because I know this series is pretty popular, but this is the fourth book in the Magic Miss, the Magic Misfits series by Neil Patrick Harris. So I do have to get the other ones at some point. I got Dog Man, Lord of the Fleas, I think, by Dave Pilkey. My kids love Dog Man. Um, and then we also have, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a Diary of a Wimpy Kid cheesiest edition. They just didn't cut the end papers. So it's free now, but it's the first book by Jeff Kinney. I kind of wish he had signed it for me, but whatever. Goldilocks, a graphic novel, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive by Chris Colfer. This is from the Land of Stories series. We got the Young Readers edition of Radium Girls by Kate Moore, a little nonfiction, historical fiction in there. Um, I don't actually know, I don't think this is a kid's book, but it's a nonfiction basketball love story, the oral history of the sport. We have Heroes of Olympus book four by Rick Riordan. I have a couple books in this series, so now I'm just gonna have to fill in because I have four now. It's in rough shape, but it is a steal for what it is. It is the Hogwarts pop-up guide from the films of Harry Potter. There's approximately six pages in here, but they pop up into like dioramas of Hogwarts. My little nerd heart is so happy. We got the Quidditch pitch. This is, I think, Hogsmeade. This is so fun, right? My kids will love to look at this. They will probably destroy it, but it's fine. It's already destroyed. Full price, brand new. This is $75, and I got it for free. Magic. That's the real magic. This is a Tangled book. This is Lost Legends, The Rise of Flynn Rider. It tells the background story of Flynn Rider. I do be love Tangled, so really happy about that. Um, this I really wanted to get because I think it's important for kids who have different interests to have nonfiction reads at their level about what they're interested in. So I got You Call This Democracy, How to Fix Our Government and Deliver Power to the People by Elizabeth Rush. Dragon Ops by Marie Munch. Mari Munch, I'm not sure how you say that. Dragon Ops. We have Sia Martinez and the Moonlit Beginning of Everything by Ra Raquel Vasquez Gilliland. Gilliland? I love this cover. Um, the Nightmare Thief by Nicole L'Espérance. We also have American Immigration, Our History, Our Stories, a good resource book also to pull for like background info, but also for kids to read if they're curious. This book I'm super excited to have in my library because it doesn't actually come out yet until September. This is um, Rick Riordan Presents the Cursed Carnival and Other Calamities. It is a bunch of short stories from different cultures and their mythologies. The whole list is going to be right there for you. Um, I have like three copies of this. They actually sent this to me at work, but this is Enola Holmes in the Black Barash, Barouche. Someone tell me how to pronounce that last word. I have no idea. By Nancy Springer. We have Zeus, Dog of Chaos. Sure. Um, Ragweed and Poppy. We have the Harry Potter Bestiary. This just came out. Focused by Alison Gerber. Internment by um, Samira Ahmed. Internment. The Second Mysterious Benedict Society by Trent and Lee Stewart, as promised. Boy 21 by Matthew Quick. This is also for me, but Imagine Me by Tejeda Mafi. I'm just starting this series. I know I'm behind. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I hated this book, but some kid might like it. Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. I apologize for the change in quality in this video. I don't have the camera battery charged. Bear with me. We have also, continuing on in our haul, we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Meltdown, autographed by Sir Jeff Kinney. Sign, which is snazzy. Okay, we also have um, Evil Thing, a villain's graphic novel about Cruella DeVille. The Loki novel 
Where Mischief Lies, Loki, Where Mischief, Mischief Lies by Mackenzie Lee. I got one Dimple Mint Rishi. Fun fact, I had a copy of this book, but a kid took it home with them and never brought it back. By Sandia Menon. I love those books. This is actually for me, Isaiah Dunn is my hero. We read a story about Isaiah Dunn in, um, what is that anthology called? I don't remember, but we read the story about Isaiah Dunn by Kelly J. Baptiste. Then we have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I feel like this is a good, safe, YA, middle grade friendly romance. Once Upon a Tide, A Mermaid's Tale by Stephanie Kate Strom. I love Stephanie Kate Strom, but I haven't read her middle grade. We also have Black Panther Spellbound by Ronald L. Smith. This comes out in September. I'm gonna go through and give you a count of how many books this was. I also know that there are more in the trunk of my car and I will for sure have more by the end of the summer. So let me do a quick count and I'll let you know how many books that we've got. We have 52 books here, which is incredible. Kristen Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mabalia. Very, very excited about this one. I think they're gonna like this one too. This is also Rick Riordan Presents. Again, I am so grateful to An Unlikely Story for letting me take arcs, for letting me take your damaged books whenever I come into work. I really appreciate it. Nine times out of ten if I'm leaving a shift at the bookstore, I'm coming with a huge bag full of books. Um, I am really, really so grateful building a classroom library can be really expensive and really difficult at first so like my gratitude is like tenfold um i really cannot wait for my kids to be in my classroom and reading and getting to look at these books and enjoy them um and i last filmed this video probably about a week ago was the last like clip i filmed where i had all the books and i did the thing um and at that point i was like yeah i'll probably get some more books throughout the summer there might be another book haul all that good stuff well not one day later after that i did in fact get an even not bigger but an equal size book haul donation from the bookstore they found more boxes of books and told me to take what i need so i did just that um and i have two more ginormous bags of books to bring to my classroom library. I am super excited. It is starting to feel at the point where I will be able to give some of those books that like I don't really want or worse for wear, put them in the staff room, and anybody that needs books for their classroom can take them. <laughs> so let's dive on in. We got, I think I showed this in paperback. We got two hardcovers of the first Mysterious Benedict Society. Honestly, these look fine. Like, I don't know why they're donations. More concerned that it's like a misprint and it's like missing chapter 12 or something, but I got two of these. So I actually bought the paperback for my classroom. I think I might keep a hardcover for myself because hardcovers obviously hold up better than paperbacks and these children will destroy it. So might keep a hardcover for Miss Roy's personal library. Um, this is Lizzie and the Good Luck Girl by Susan Lubner. This one I'm super excited that kids are gonna love and be really excited about, but this is Riley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney. The spin-off series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the latest one too. It's just not signed, but I got this. I'm not quite sure I think a kid would love to just look through this, but this is the Mysteries of the Universe. It's all about like, space and astronomy and all that good stuff this is a dk book it is gorgeous i really again oh i was gonna say i don't know why it's a donation but it's like literally a little bit dinged like that down the bottom for me i got uh alice hoffman's magic lessons the prequel to practical magic um i showed one edition of king arthur but i found an illustrated one that will like be in the classroom library for kids to look at but also if we do um like a unit on king arthur i want to be able to use this one and read it to them and show them the illustrations that go along with it this book is beautiful i have a copy of this in my personal library but these are with the um nc wyeth illustrations and this is the sydney lanyard 
edition, but super cute. Love this book. It feels like an old timey like fairy tale story book, which it is. Um, this is the third book, so I'd have to get the other two, but this is Obsidio, the third book in the Illumini series. This book is really cool if you haven't seen the series. It is not just like a straight book. It is like a case file, so it has like um, family day posters. It has emails, so you read through it like that, and it looks very cool. So that was the third book. I got The Diviners by Libba Bray. I have this book in my personal library. I just need to like common sense double check it. The first Madness Chase book. Ah. <coughs> wow. This book was a little bit beaten up, but this is the first Magnus Chase book in the Gods of A Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. So I grabbed the first one. And then I grabbed the second one, The Hammer of Thor. I have the land of stories because I love my copy too much to part with it and from my personal library. Sorry, seventh graders, but you can have this one by Chris Colfer. I have Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mabalia. Very, very excited about this one. I think they're gonna like this one too. This is also Rick Riordan Presents. So actually my haul was not as big as I thought it was, but that was still another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten copies of books. So that brought my total of books to bring to the library to 60. That's pretty magical. Again, super grateful for an unlikely story for donating all these books to me. They're too good to me. So my kiddos will appreciate it. I for sure appreciate it. I'm feeling really grateful right now. Like I think books and having access to books is such a privilege that I'm super grateful for in my own life. And I'm excited to be able to give kids the opportunity to find books that they love and the chance to fall in love with reading. Um, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that. I gotta get these all off my kitchen table now, but that is it for this book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there are any, like, give me your must have middle grade series, books, standalones, any genre, early YA, leave them in the comments for me. Let me know what do you think that I must have in my library. I have a bunch at school, but there are definitely some holes in this collection um, and it, I just can't wait to see it grow and, and keep buying for it. So if there's anything that you think that I'm missing, your favorite books to recommend to middle grade readers, please, please let me know in a comment down below. I would super appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super grateful for all of you and I will see you guys in my next one. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, especially because there's probably another book haul coming. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. I'm a lot more active over on my Instagram as well, especially during school year. So do all that and I will see you in my next one. Bye. The stars above are shining Then I know